All right, Guardians, we are in mission two. This is going to be the investigation. Recommended power is, again, 1360, so your gear is 1350, and, a, and anything above that is not really going to matter. Same loadout. I'm going sniper, arc bow, basically the entire time. Still got ascendancy, and I'm running void on Night Stalker just to embrace that one. No exotics across the board, so, again, this is a guide hopefully everybody can do. As you do unlock artifacts, again, the close as soon as you can get to thermoshock plating, and if you can throw that on, say, a Void chest piece, you could theoretically have Void resistance and then Arc and Solar on the other slot. Yeah, you would give up your reserves, but that would be a lot of damage resistance. If you get to that point in unlocking your artifact, that would be a probably very crucial thing to do later on when we get higher in the campaign. But let's get started, and we'll see how this goes. Same principle, I am in week one, so I've got the Chaff modifier and Galvanized. As I said, power is capped at 1350. The, like, enhanced radar that is useless because Chaff is here, I think, comes in later missions. But that's also when melees get to be more painful. So, mission number two, the investigation. Here we go. Alright, so when you start this mission, you are going to plop straight into the throne world. And your goal is to try and get through this door over here. You got a couple knights over there. You don't really need to fight them. We've got to clear out more of the ads in the middle first. Everything here is imbued with it. Like, our goal is to eventually get over there. Nope, I woke him up. Why would she just let us walk in? We need a clue about how she stole the light. So, in theory, we're going to look around in here, try and clear out some of these ads. So I'm going to just work on clearing the ones that I can see. Again, remember, look for your little moth buddies. So we got one right here. You can actually kind of see the floats. Hard to see in the contrast, but there you see it flap. And we get the kill. So we're going to clear the ads up here at the front. You are going to have some knights up here, some thrall. Just a good mix of enemies. Gotta love a little flinch when it's there. And boom. Nice thing is though, it works as a little chain explosion. So if multiple happen next to each other, it's actually a nice way to put a couple of those together. Again, Arbalist is my recommendation just due to the power of it. But still... You know, decent sniper should be reasonably potent if I can get some shots in, and we can put some in. Now, we are going to be faced with an ogre pretty quickly, so just be aware that it is going to be coming fairly soon. I think it's an ogre, or it's just the light bear. Okay, it's the light bear knight, so he's pretty quick, actually. I walked my butt into a corner, so careful. And again, you've got plenty of space around here. Just watch the shield throws. Now, anything, if you choose to go, like, suppressing grenades, that can actually really shut down those Hive Guardians. Just the way you can get shut down by a suppression grenade, same thing applies to them. This is where I do enjoy the rocket launcher. It's going to put a big chunk in. If you are going to kill that Hive Guardian, make sure you are ready to go for... Uh, go for the kill if you're... Believe me, if you're thinking it's close, you need to make sure you're ready for the kill. So this is that point. Get the finisher as soon as it goes down. I literally just practiced this mission on another character and I had to kill it twice. So don't do that. Grab any ammo on the way. You're not supposed to be here. Guardians aren't safe in a place like this. Who is this? Now I know where I'm going, but I can tell you that this character that's talking now, love this guy. So I'm gonna skip most of the cinematics in these guides so you guys will get to experience him. Hello? He's just a hilariously awesome dude. I can trace the signal. So you're gonna come to the back of the room. Have no leads. And we're gonna get this little glow, which is going to be your deep sight. You gotta go pop the door investigation first. Can't go through the door. It's where we need to go. Right. There we go. So here is the deep side thing that you'll see. You'll see this floating out in the throne world like patrol zone as well, but you need different tiers unlocked with your reputation. And all this is going to do is open up platforms and you can usually see these little marksing, markings kind of guiding you that way. The contrast, the black isn't always there, but these should be around. You get about 30 seconds, so you don't want to just completely dawdle, but you should have plenty of time in theory. And pretty much we're just going to go a back way through this little castle to get to the other side. So if you follow the direction I'm going, you shouldn't take too many bad turns as long as I can remember where I'm going. 
And then in theory here, you can fall down. Head over here to the right. And then same thing, if you kind of fall here. And here, you'll get another set. Kind of rebuff, and then you'll see everything appear. You'll actually see the statue actually pointing the right direction. Up there. I think that door will lead us out. We just need a way up. Follow the giant statue pointers. And then you get in here. You're going to go to the right because you've got some ads to clear out first. Now, once he is down, you've got more deep sight in here. Head on back and this will actually get you out because normally just walk over here and be like, I can't get to it because it's behind a grate. Now you're going to run over here. Make a few quick jumps. And you got a few cursed they're all in this room, so just be careful. Try and take those out before they get to you. So you don't go explodey. And using them as a way to actually hurt that hive knight is kind of a nice way to knock him out. Should just be the one. Make sure you got no stragglers left and you'll follow this corridor around. Pretty straightforward. This is definitely one of the shorter, kind of easier missions. Just kind of introducing you to Finch, which is that character. I love that guy, though. Hope we get more of him, kind of figure out what's going on. Very interesting. So as you run through here, you normal ads. Now you can just run up here and skip these guys if you want to. Not required to fight them. Because nothing is theoretically back here, so you can just skip it all. And run on by. About Hive using the light. That's why you're here. That's need to know. <laughs> That's need to know. His sarcasm and just Finch, whoever recorded him, has like a great personality for him. All right, so outside. Now, you can drive your sparrow. You can also just get blown up. So there's a big collection of guys. So my advice, I'm on my little mini sparrow on this character. I kind of forgot. So if you kind of follow this path, you should be able to get by most things. If the ogre doesn't get too ticked off at you, we're kind of going over here. So you can hit tab, kind of pull up the little GPS node, drive over this direction. Now you can probably jump off and start clearing the ads out. And this is where I will definitely use a rocket just to try and clear them out. But I do want to make sure, okay, there's two of them. So I'm going to get a little bit of extra cover up here just because I'm taking a bit of a beating there. And again, having barrier on that uh, bow is definitely going to serve you well. Sniper's not going to do quite as much damage as a rocket, but it still hits. Just slow to reload. There we go. That's most of the big guys. Now we can kill the little ones, get a little ammo. And this is why that damage resistance is really going to make a difference, especially on the hunter. You're either going to want to be able to go invisible a lot or have decent damage resistance. So that artifact mod is really nice to have. So again, don't really worry as much about the reserves. I will take the void resistance because we are on a harder difficulty. Recovery is also an important stat to have up there. My grenade energy is actually pitiful right now. I didn't know my stats could get that low. It's because I've got some aspects on that is making it basically zero. That's why. Long shit from downtown. All right, so what you need to do is stand right here on this little platform. It's going to be spinning as you go. You're going to get some ads over there. And again, use anything you can, grenade-wise or otherwise, to kind of slow them down. And if you feel like you've got to get off the platform, that's okay. It's much easier to stay alive than have to redo this thing. So just hang out. You're going to get some more ads. This is why the arc shield is the one you want. Look for the little butterflies or moths. There's your knight. And you can just focus on the shots. That's the important part. Got the little moth coming. But yeah, arc on that energy weapon the entire way. Get a reload while I can. Take a second here. I'm also going to try and slow him down. There we go. That'll be some deadfall anchors.
Once you get up to about 75%, know that you're actually fairly close. See if you got a dump a rocket or a heavy, you're near. And it's going to scream at you that it's open, so you're going to be able to run fairly soon. So just be ready. All right, so it should be open. Jump on that sparrow and get out of here. Just kind of clear the grate. Takes a little bit to get low enough for the geometry to get out of the way. And you should be able to drive the entire way out. I don't think this guy we've been talking to... So that's kind of the interior the palace, and now we're going to be kind of in the outer city area walls. So like, yeah, there's the fluorescent canal. So here is phase two. After this, you're done. But this is a pretty long fight. You're going to want to hit the rally fag. Remember, those are going to be your... I was like, those are going to basically be your checkpoints, so don't forget about those. Got a lot of ads to deal with here. Try and work on the snipers. I don't think a grenade can possibly make it that far, but we're going to go for the big bomb. Did I overshoot? I overshot. Wow, I didn't actually think I could throw one that far. Guess I did over arc it a little bit. So again, Arbalist hits harder. Sniper's going to give you a little more ammo. A couple of these guys, not too bad. Now, the goal is to go out that door. So, simply what I would do is if you want to grab any ammo, come out this direction, grab the ammo, and then do a quick U-turn. And that's going to kind of initiate it. You're going to have these barrier guards. They won't get any farther up than this, but you are going to be dealing with three of them. Now, there are going to be scoring and kind of a distraction around the area. So, your goal, while you do all this, focus on anything major that might tag you up here. If you do take anything out with a little, uh, you know... Take out any moth guys. So clear some of the ads if you can. Find the moth guys because those are just fun to kill. All right. So your first one here is where your rockets are going to be good. Hit him and get a chunk. Always have a triple tap sniper, I guess. That thing works pretty well. You may not even have that, but you'll kind of see the ammo. And you'll see where you're actually going to get a chance to get ammo back. There's a lot down there, and there's going to be a shot that I'm going to kind of tell you to loop through. Our barrier knight on this side, or the big guy, is going to be kind of tucked over here. He gets a little wedged. So for now, we're just going to clear out the ads in case you get any issues. I'm going to shoot him through the top of the bush. Maybe? Gotta love auto-aim on a bow. So our buddy is going to be over here. You might have to move a little bit to get a visual on him. But you'll find him eventually. There he is. So they're going to be going at it. The nice thing is if you leave them at each other, they're going to he's going to lose some health. So don't have to worry about him as much right now on the right. Or on the left. Let's deal with big guy on the right, which we got to find. There he is. He kind of popped out and joined the party. So he was apparently also busy. Now I can hit him decently with just a bow. Hence why I do like bows. But if you want to get at least a nice little pop on him, Rocket's going to smack him around a little bit. Four shots. Now, the middle is actually empty. So, this is one of those times. You can jump on your sparrow and drive. You can't leave yet, but you actually can come out here and grab any ammo. So, if you got sniper ammo that you know is here, drive and drive back. I know that's a random thing that you probably would not normally do, but you can. Then, once the uh, scorn guys are over there are done, I'm going to try and get a grenade onto him. Hey, what do you know? I can actually aim sometimes. So throw your grenades every so often. That'll get some work in. If you got a super, I would save it for the next section because you're going to have a couple more of these, but you've also got a big guy to deal with. There we go. All right. So it's going to tempt you again. Go to the door. Same principle. I'm going to tell you get on your sparrow, but be ready for a quick U-turn because we are not done. Another hive wielding the light. And this I is going to be a hive uh, witch or wizard, whichever one you want to call it. And this is going to be a light bear as well. So this is going to be one of those you got to be able to get up there and kill it. And that's kind of the hard part about this one is because you got to be able to actually cover the ground and get to it. Especially when it's that far away, you do want to stay as far back as possible, basically outside of range. Now, my recommendation, because you can now see the big boys just popped up. If you're going to go after the Hive Garden, you, if you're going to kill it, I would make sure it's low. But make sure it's at a point where you think you can get to it. So get it low first, and then we're going to work on this guy. Oh, 
I'm just going to annoy him with the smoke bomb for a little while. I don't even know if that's damaging him. I'm just putting a little work in here. Now, the thing about these guys is probably going up there and trying to crush the ghost might be tough. And you don't want to get to this point and have to kind of redo this whole section. So what happened to me is exactly what happened here last time. So you're going to have one guy fill in. So now when the, you're like, okay, cool, I can go for the ghost. Don't do it yet. Focus on this guy. You got hopefully plenty of rockets since you just had a rally flag. Now, as soon as this one goes down, we're going to go for a quick uh, rocket. So I want the rocket ready. So I can go straight for the wizard right here. Lock it on. Jump on the sparrow, and you want to get over here as quick as possible to hit this ghost. And that will finish the encounter and make everything disappear. So here are your chest of glory. All the goodness will wait. All the blues to level you up. Sure I'll ever get used to and you're good. We're going to drive over to that cliff. So you can jump on your sparrow. Drive over here. You got a couple different directions. They all kind of intertwine, but over here will work. Follow this path up to the hill. And they passed right over humanity and chose our enemies. And you're basically going to meet Can't Finch. That. So I'm going to let you guys watch the cinematic. You brought us here? Hey, hey, take it easy. Just let me explain. All right, so at this point, you're going to talk to Finch and you can move forward in the campaign. And But honestly, at this point, uh, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the lore. So if you did enjoy this playthrough, if you found it beneficial in any way or any tips, drop a like below, leave a comment, or share this with friends if you find it beneficial, or maybe you've got a loadout that works well. If you want to find me on Twitter, it's Ebontis, streaming on twitch.tv slash Ebontis, or right here on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, hit that alert bell if you guys want to support me. That way, it is always appreciated. For those of you who are channel members or Patreon subscribers, thank you very much. You guys are rock stars. Have a good one. I'll see you soon.